Welcome to our video guide on adding magic links to your Next.js application using FusionAuth. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to build a secure and convenient web application that allows users to sign up and log in using magic links sent to their email address. Imagine having a Next.js application with a public page where users can sign up or log in via FusionAuth. Once logged in, they'll have access to a private page to view their profile information. The best part? All this without the hassle of remembering passwords. So. What exactly are magic links? Magic links are a type of passwordless authentication. FusionAuth sends a secure, one-time, time-bound encoded code to the user via email. The ownership of this code acts as proof of identity, making it super easy for users to click the link and be logged in, as if by magic. To get started, we're going to install and configure FusionAuth using Docker Compose. Once FusionAuth is up and running, we'll show you how to create an application. This application will be the key to integrating magic links into your Next.js app. After setting up the application, you'll configure OAuth. We will create these URLs in our Next.js application within our API. As you can see in the redirect URL, it's API auth callback fusion auth. The origin for now is localhost 3000, and our logout URL is localhost 3000 API auth logout. We'll also enable self-service registration, allowing users to sign up effortlessly. With FusionAuth and Next.js integrated, we'll configure OpenID Connect, or OIDC for short, to retrieve user profile details. This will enable a seamless experience for your users once they log in. To make Magic Links work smoothly, we need to set up an SMTP server for email delivery. We'll use SendGrid for this purpose, making sure your users receive emails as needed. As you can see here, we'll specify smtp.sendgrid.net as our host, port 587, and API key as the user. You'll need to go to API settings in SendGrid and add a new API key. For now, we'll just give this full access. Copy that value, and then you'll update the password within FusionAuth. Sender authentication is very important. In SendGrid, you'll need to specify the center identity and set up a domain authentication. For our example, I set up something funny called IWantToTrackYou.com. So I've set up no reply at IWantToTrackYou.com as our email sender. Almost there. Now it's time to enable passwordless login in the FusionAuth dashboard. This will allow your users to experience the magic of hassle-free login. All right, let's build the Next.js application. We'll guide you on installing nextauth.js and create the necessary dynamic route handler for FusionAuth configuration. Watch closely as we demonstrate practical code examples and the setup process step by step. This will ensure you're on the right track. To get up and running quickly, we'll use npx create next app at latest to install the next application. We're going to name this project app so we get a new directory within our project. We're not going to use a source directory or app router at this time. You can see that next.js command automatically created a pages directory with an API for hello.ts. It also generated underscore app and index. We'll replace these files with what we need. First up is index.tsx. In this page, we're just gonna create an h1 that says welcome to FusionAuth plus next.js and add a login button. Our login button has configurations that come straight from nextauth slash react package. Here we'll use the use session hook so that we can determine if the user has signed in or not. If they are signed in, we'll present them with the user's email. If they're not signed in, we'll sign into the FusionAuth app. Once again, in our protector route, we'll use the nextauth react hook Use session. Use session also provides a status. If the status is loading, we can present a loading indicator. If it's unauthenticated, we can say access denied and present the login button. If the status is neither of those, you can see the protected page and you can view this page because you're signed in. We also need to make sure that we install the next-auth package. The last thing that we need to do is update our underscore app.tsx. Here we need to wrap the entire application with a session provider. Once again, the next auth react package provides us with this session provider. The last thing that we need to do is make sure that we've included the API for all of our authentication. This is done with a very nice package from next auth providers for FusionAuth. As you can see, the issuer, client ID, and client seeker all come from process environment variables. We need to include a new file called .env. Now let's go ahead and make sure we can update these variables. So we'll take a look at our application by hitting the magnifying glass. If you scroll down to the OAuth configuration, you'll find the client ID and client secret. We'll need to add those into our .env file. Now that we have everything wired up, let's go ahead and try signing in. On the sign in page, I can now select magic link. I've already registered this user, so I can use the magic link the magic link will send me an email like this. 
When I click on this link, it will take me over to our FusionAuth server, which will then redirect to our Next.js application correctly. As you can see here, I'm signed in as Alex Patterson at FusionAuth.io. Let's go ahead and take a look at our protected page. If I go to slash protected, you can see that the protected page I'm able to view because I'm signed in. If I go ahead and sign out, you'll see that the slash protected now has access denied. Congratulations, you've successfully added magic links to your Next.js application using FusionAuth. Now your users can enjoy a secure and passwordless sign-in experience, making authentication feel like magic. If you want to dive deeper into the code or follow along with the detailed steps, check out the link to the blog post in the description below.